Hey, you caught me and Brooke here at Lincoln Woods State Park in Rhode Island. This time I brought my dog, Heath. And last time we were here, we saw a lot of moss. Moss may seem boring, but it's actually really cool. Here's why. Moss is actually one of the oldest plants in the world. But unlike most plants, mosses use spores for reproduction instead of having flowers to pollinate. Also, moss can use particles in the air to create its own soil if none is available, which is why it is able to grow on rocks. Moss is an important part of an ecosystem because other plants that grow around the moss benefit from the water and nutrients it collects. Since there are so many different types of moss in New England, we're going to take some samples back to lab to find out what these are. Using the microscopes at the lab, we'll be better able to determine what kind of moss it is. So let's head back to the lab. Come on! Welcome back to the lab. We're going to use our handy dandy microscopes to take a better look at this moss. Let's do it! We've taken a very close look at these samples and determined that it's capillary thread moss. We know this based on the size and shape of the leaves, as well as the fuzzy appearance. Now you should go into your backyard and see what you can find. Tune in next time where we'll learn all about salamanders. Bye! Bye. Thank you.